heavyweight bout is referee Arthur Mercanti of New York. Introducing the principals. In the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim and the black lettering, he is weighing in at 174 and three quarter pounds. From Camden, New Jersey, the challenger, the Camden Bassar, Dwight Braxton. Braxton. And here's the opponent in the red corner. Wearing the black trunks with the gold trim and the gold lettering, he is tipping the scales at 174 and one half pounds. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the world boxing council and heavyweight champion, Matthew Saad Mohammed. Saad Mohammed. All right, we're about ready for the action. It's a 20 by 20 ring, 10 point must scoring system, three knockdown rule. Wave the tail of the tape being set before you. Again, Saad Mohammed had to take off three pounds this morning. That shows you the height differential and the reach edge that I've already referred to, but Braxton has a way of diminishing that edge. This one could be a war. It figures to be a tough fight. And Saad Mohammed's stamina, perhaps a key question. Arthur McCanny, the third man in the ring, the best there is in all the world at what he does. And the knockdown timer, the alternate referee, Tony Perez, himself a distinguished third man in the ring. The bell for the start of round one. to see if Saad Muhammad keeps trying to work that jab to box the opponent and thus in a sense change his style try to keep Braxton off seconds into the fight, Saad Mohammed is at the moment wary, trying to use that left. We are using a new camera above ringside, just above it, at ringside, and it operates by remote control, a development of the ABC engineering department. It was first used by us in the Holmes-Leon Spinks fight. The Holmes-Snipes fight, I should have said. Obvious strategy by Saad Muhammad in this first round. Keep Dwight Braxton off him using the left jab. Boxing. Wild amateurish lunge by Braxton. Trying to get in to fight his fight the way he did against Rossman and against Scott. seconds to go. Round one counting down as you can see. Sam Solomon, trainer in Saad Muhammad's corner. You did exactly right. Keep that left hand in his face. Don't let him get inside of it. 
strategy, ring tactics so far, at least in planning, being established in the first round. Braxton will keep coming, or trying to. Lal Muhammad is the manager. Saad Muhammad. Wenzel McCall and Wesley Muzan are the co-managers of Braxton. That's right, Jim. Man Doubled up quickly on the left, Braxton did. Saad Muhammad's left hand held at his side. Leaving him perhaps susceptible to the right. See where the left is? Just heard from the corner, perhaps, in the background. You've got your left hand too low. And Sam Solomon is right. More than halfway through the second round. Good right by Saad Muhammad. Another good right. And the left one in there. He's fighting cleverly. Braxton not able to get to him. the left there, doubling with it. Saving the right. For whatever. Another good right. He's fighting his way. And he may have hurt Braxton. No, Braxton grins and leers, saying I'm not hurt. Forget it. The one possible, oh, a good right by Braxton. Hurt Saad Muhammad. You saw it. He kept that left hand low once too often. And now Braxton is getting to him. And this is in the more familiar pattern of Braxton fights. Suddenly it happened with 40 seconds left in the round. The right that stunned Saad Muhammad. 10 seconds left in the second round. As suddenly the action grows. And he's gotten in three good rights and one good left Braxton has. And he's pouring the blows on Saad Muhammad. And as I said, this one could be a war. Smiling and leering, Braxton waiting for the opportunity. Quickly trying to double on the left. It suddenly became a war when Saad Muhammad continued to make the mistake of keeping that left hand at his side in the manner of Thomas Hearns. And Hearns paid for that against Sugar Ray Leonard. We are 30 seconds into the third round. Still fighting according to battle plan is Saad Muhammad. Boxing, trying to conserve himself. But once he was stunned by that initial right, he found himself wide open for a succession of blows, and he was hurt. But he has those remarkable recuperative powers. A warning about a low blow from Arthur McCanny, the referee, to Dwight Braxton. Now he's keeping his hands up, Saad Muhammad is. Working the left. Boxing Braxton. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, a close friend of Saad Muhammad's, a past light heavyweight champion himself, in Saad Muhammad's corner, imploring him to keep his hands up. Braxton getting in the left, not once but twice, and then a third and fourth time. But Braxton, his head snapped back by a sharp Saad Muhammad left. Less than a minute to go in the third round. This round, Braxton not able to get, although he's trying here to get to Saad Muhammad, and he snaps Saad's head back with a left. Get off, Jeff. It's hard 
to fight off when he gets inside like that, Mr. Braxton is. Thought Muhammad staying in ring center. A good right to the kidney area. We'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we will take a station break. be back with more of the WBC play here in Atlantic City. WBC Light Heavyweight Championship at stake. Matthew Saad Muhammad, his ninth defense to the right of your screen. Dwight Braxton, the challenger, number five rated contender, now to the right. Trying to move inside and getting there more frequently as the third round terminated. And remember the way he came on as the second round was in its final moment. Braxton likes it. Get that head on the other man's shoulder and pummel away with those snapping blows that take so much of your stamina away and hurt so much. He's got a body carved in concrete, Braxton does. Against the ropes, he continues his attack. Saad Muhammad getting the punishment. But we've seen this pattern so many times before. When will it be once too many? Uppercut snapping Saad Muhammad's head, as you saw. Good right lead by Saad Muhammad, then a left. But Braxton's doing the damage in this round. Now Saad Muhammad trying to come to life. Blood coming out of Saad Muhammad's nose, all over his upper lip. Yes, it is a war. Less than a minute to go in the fourth round. Look at Braxton laying it on Saad Muhammad. is the one pinioned in the corner, but the one doing the punching. Saad Muhammad trying to come to life and did with a good right. But Braxton is having a tremendous round. Look at the blood coming out of Saad Muhammad's nose. Now Braxton's going down to the midsection just momentarily. Once he's positioned inside, he uses the uppercut effectively, as you have seen. the end of round four and we'll go to Saad Muhammad's corner wiping out off the blood immediately coming out of the nose Braxton's in fighting a terrific early fourth round attack watch right in the left another right in that corner. It was Braxton who threw the furious blows with Saad Muhammad's face and head. The talk. Get tired, man. Get tired. Saad Muhammad being spoken to in his corner. Sam Salam. Adar Frataka. Salim El Amin. Those are the men in Saad Muhammad's corner. He's tired, He's tired. There's Braxton. And the bell for round five. That's what's at stake. You saw what Mercani said. 
boo him, but they don't know what they're booing about. Arthur McCanny keeps better position and control of a fight than any referee within my memory. And I'm in this business 30 years and more. Five seconds into the fifth round. Now Saad Muhammad trying to answer back, trying to recapture the control of the fight that he showed in the first round when he used his left so effectively. Braxton will have none of it. where he can to the midsection. One must wonder if this time Saad Muhammad will not have the recuperative powers of the past. Look at that right lead. Muhammad holding his left low again. Paxton hurt him. Less than a minute left in this, the fifth round. The blood flow has not been reopened by Braxton from Saad Muhammad's nose. Mustafa Muhammad imploring Saad to keep those hands up, meaning specifically the left. Matthew Saad Muhammad against Dwight Braxton, and the two have really been going at it. WBC light heavyweight crown at stake. Braxton is proving himself a worthy contender. position, head on the opponent's shoulder. We have a minute to go in the sixth round. Bin Saad Muhammad's heads up. Oh, 
wild right that missed by Braxton, a left that connected, and he saw it, Muhammad trying to continue with boxing basics, using the left jab to keep Braxton at bay, but not succeeding as he did at the very start of the fight. First to the belly, then to the head, and more blood from the nose, and Braxton all over Saad Muhammad. The end of the round. Stay here, live in Atlantic City, New Jersey. There's the blood being wiped away again on Saad Muhammad's nose. Oh, what are you waiting for? When are you going to get him? Sam Solomon talking to Saad Muhammad. When are you going to get him? Bilal Muhammad, the manager, coming over to look at my scoring, which is strictly subjective of toss, as you're looking again at Braxton giving it to Saad Muhammad. I have Braxton slightly ahead at this point. But when one scores cards, and you saw that grinning leer, from Braxton as he left Saad Muhammad in ring center at the end of the round. And you can see the confidence in Braxton's face. The Camden buzzsaw, they call him, because he so often fights. All five feet, six and a half inches of him from a crouch and presents often a difficult talk. The terrible punishment Saad Muhammad took from Yaki Lopez. But then he KO'd Lopez in the 14th, knocking him down four times. Good right by Braxton, and that fatal deficiency. There's a left, keeping that left too low. to round seven. You saw that uppercut shoot Saad Muhammad's head up, and another one. Once Braxton is inside of you, and again, a quick snapping right. That's when Braxton can chew you up. Working the right uppercut there as much as he could. And the left. Get out, get out, get out, and we are approaching the end of the seventh round of this WBC light heavyweight type of fight. That left, that hurt Saad Muhammad. There it was, Sam Solomon, as we begin round eight, just saying to Saad Muhammad, you're blowing the title, man. Yes, it is round eight, and Braxton has been all over Saad Muhammad for the last four rounds. Will the stamina be there throughout the 
this fight. Will Saad Muhammad be able to come back? Has the weight loss affected that stamina? There is no movement, as you can see, in Saad Muhammad. He is essentially flat-footed. minute and 10 seconds into round eight. And for the fifth straight round, the pattern has been unchanged. It has been Braxton all over the champion. Up a cut. Right leads over a low left hand. Getting in there occasionally and hurting the champion. Like that, for instance, and that. No movement from Saad Muhammad. Now, boxer man, you've basically got to have movement. There's that right lead. But again, knows what his opportunity is here now. In the short uppercuts. Incessant blows by White Braxton. The leather keeps coming. Twenty-five seconds and counting down as you can see. Round eight. live in Atlantic City, round nine, and Bilal Muhammad, the manager of Matthew Saad Muhammad, is shaking his head. He, too, is concerned that this time his fighter will not have the resiliency of the past. There doesn't seem to be any snap, any spark. Braxton's tactics are unwavering. Doubled up on Saad Muhammad's face. Already the blood from Muhammad's nose. along the line and at the end of this round we'll take a station break and there is Braxton at it again blood all over the desk in front of the reporter Saad Muhammad, get off, get off. But that left jab amounts to a paw now in terms of punishment registered. Arthur McCanny has no voice in the scoring, only the judges. But he has a marvelous method for scoring a fight. He breaks around down into three separate minutes. And I'd like to see how he would be scoring this fight. Two lefts. And Braxton is having more target practice now. For a while, the left 
pawing held him at bay. Now, inside, look at that. And we will be back with more of the WBC World Light Heavyweight Championship fight after this word from our local stations as we await the windup of the ninth round. All right. Round 10 underway, but first, some of the punishments Saad Muhammad took in the last round. Here in round 10, Bilal Muhammad, Saad Muhammad's manager, told him between rounds, champ, you're at least four rounds behind. You've got to fight with him. You're losing this fight. It's almost over. Stay on the ropes that way. You let Braxton lay his head upon your shoulder, and you're asking for it. There is no foot movement in Saad Muhammad. No sign of a late comeback yet. blows by Braxton. The blood again from Saad Muhammad's nostrils. And a constant flow from the fourth round on. Chance of the crowd speak for themselves. Two stunning lifts by Braxton, and a third as Saad Muhammad was attempting to keep him away with repeated jabs. But the punishing blows by Braxton. A minute, two minutes and five seconds into the 10th round. Get off the Saad Muhammad's corner imploring him to get off the ropes, and now Saad Muhammad trying to rally back. But Braxton quickly, first to the mid-ref, and then up with those same short snapping blows. And he is in deep trouble, and he goes down. The fight continues, remember? The three knockdown rule is waived. There is nothing but blood now on Saad Muhammad's upper lip. This time, he appears ready to lose his title. They're going in. They're trying to stop the fight. That's it. Arthur McCann, he stops it. The corner went in to try to protect Matthew Saad Muhammad. There was no resiliency, no recuperativeness. Not today. Dwight Braxton, a tough cookie, five feet, six and a half inches tall with a reach of only 71 inches 28 years of age is the new wbc world light heavyweight champion from camden new jersey the camden buzzsaw you heard him say in the pre-fight interview the man has a perfect style for me well he apparently was right let's look at the knockdown again but we will always have to conjecture with the notion that that last minute weight loss also had something to do with it, taking no credit away from Dwight Braxton. And then the mysterious question, how could he have been over? Were the scales wrong the way he told us in the pre-fight interview? But that was the knockdown, and as quickly as possible, we will get Dwight Braxton to our position at ringside, Right here is where the fight was stuck. A continuous pummeling, incessant blows from the fourth round on. Arthur McCanny stopping it, even before, as you see, the corner man trying to get to his fighter to protect him from further damage. Yes, that man is the WBC light heavyweight champion of the world. Next question. When will there be a unification between him and Michael Spinks? 
the Olympic gold medal winner, middleweight classification, who is at ringside here tonight and who is standing now right at ringside telling everybody who will listen that he is the true champion. And so, in the midst of the usual furor in ring center, we will break for this commercial moment and then we'll be back. All right, we're back, live at ringside, and the happy new champion, Dwight Braxton. You said he had the perfect style for you, and I think you proved it. Ray, I knew, I knew it was going to be a hard fight. I knew he would hit me. I knew it. I know he'd take a lot of punishment. Look at the blood on you. You know what I mean? But the man is good. He's a great champion. I knew what I was in for, but I came ready. I'm a Camden buzzsaw. Look at this. Right on my rope. The, the Camden buzzsaw. All right, very quickly. You really took over. In the first round, he troubled you with the jab. Troubled you again in the third. But from the fourth round on, you took over that fight. My he was jabbing. He got a hard jab. He, he, he kept me at bay. But I knew I had to take something to get some. I knew what type of fight he was. He wasn't backing up. I had to keep my eyes on him all the time and pick my shot. I wasn't going to waste myself. I was going to be there for 15 rounds. For 20 if I had, I wanted this. And you were. I thank a lot. I thank a lot. I fear nothing but a lot. Remember that. That's my Let's look at that knockdown just before the end here. Look, I know he was taking shots, but I know he wouldn't take the shot. I was sharp. I kept my eyes on him. Oh, that, that's a knockout. But, that was the but knockout. through the whole fight, he gave it to me and I took it. I kept my eyes on him. Look at it. I know he was only human. I'm glad he stopped it because he would have been hurt real bad. I've seen him go a couple times, but he's just got stamina. My friend, you've come a long way and you've made a whole new life for yourself. Thank a lot. Congratulations again.